So, Shubhratosh, I have sent you the... Can you please guide me? Yes, anybody? Uh, Ma'am, I think if you press download, it could come uh, after that. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll do. It's showing the download a smart virtual background package. Uh, yes. Okay. Should I close it now? Yes, ma'am. You can close that. Uh, it's fine. It'll automatically save. Okay.
Uh, my dear team, yes, sir.
गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर एम आई ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग सर या गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग लेट्स प्रोसीड सर या डॉक्टर संतोष गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द डायरेक्टर ऑफ सिम्बासी हैदराबाद स्कूल thank you so much sir thank you so much and also thank you so much for joining and gracing uh, this occasion uh, let's proceed dr anita ma'am yes sir yes sir shubhangi yes whether honorable justice has joined yes sir uh, yes i am there yeah good morning sir good morning sir morning morning professor vijendra kumar sir good morning how are you sir i'm fine i'm fine thank you let's proceed yes. let's proceed good morning everyone we the moot court association of symbiosis law school hyderabad are thrilled to welcome you to our sixth national moot court competition 2022 mooting is unparalleled in importance in law school so much so that it can almost be considered an art and it is in tribute of this art that the sixth edition of our national moot court competition was envisioned to bring about the best legal minds in mooting researching and advocacy skills for the appreciation of legal excellence in a span of few years the world has undergone to multiverse change with an increased reliance on the digital matrix thus through this sixth edition of our moot court and as always we endeavor to create dialogue that enriches the legal society with novel ideas and progressive principles with particular focus on the information technology legal spectrum amongst others ladies and gentlemen the next few days will provide you with plenty of opportunities to carve your niche in the mooting circuit and to both express and acquire innovation and justice as a perfect epitome of dynamic action and illustrious ideals We now invite our director, Dr. Santosh Agarwal, to deliver the welcome address. Thank you, uh, thank you, Master of the Ceremony, and Convener of Sirs, the sixth National Moot Court Competition 2022 by MCA, Moot Court Association of uh, Simbas Law School, Hyderabad, Simbas International University. I welcome on behalf of our management to Honorable Chief Guest, uh, uh, Mr. Justice Sri Ravanandan. rao sitting judge high court of andhra pradesh uh, also the guest of honor dr vijendra kumar vice chancellor of national uh, maharashtra national law university nagpur on behalf of our uh, management dr s b mozumdar sir honorable chancellor of simbiosis international university and dr vidya eravadikar ma'am pro chancellor simbiosis international university dr rajni gutte ma'am vice chancellor simbiosis international university dr bindu Dr. Anuradha Binnuri, ma'am, Deputy Director, Simbas Law School, Hyderabad. Dr. Anita Sabe, ma'am, convener of a uh, convener of this uh, competition and a series of competitions in which earlier participations and current faculty in charge of uh, Moot Court Association with her team. Uh, and on behalf of our all entire staff members uh, of the Simbas Law School, Hyderabad family. and especially the moot court association of simbas law school hyderabad and the very enthusiastic and efficient team of moot court association of simbas law school hyderabad who have been taking various efforts to organize this moot court competition even in this very critical situation yes, pandemic conditions and uh, pandemic ally conditions and various various uh, limitations even in the light of participations but to facilitate this competition sir and also i welcome all the participants uh, and their coach their faculty in charge and their mentors researchers and all the stakeholders of this competition including the beneficiaries who are going to watch who are going to hear who are going to attend the courtroom proceedings of the arguments of this particular competition by which there will be also double benefit in terms of observing this uh, competition and learning the debates learning from the debates and arguments and question answer session 
between the participation and honorable uh, judges of this particular competition. Uh, sir, the boating activity has been very one of the important activity in any local age or uh, university. And now this has become almost a mood culture amongst the students whereby students try to learn various skills, various values, and certain do's and don'ts in the light of the professional requirements. I, I, I once again welcome for this inaugural ceremony and in the light of passage of time, I uh, further hand over the, uh, the, the entire session and the entire address to, to our convener of this entire program. I'm thankful once again to Honorable Lordship, uh, Justice Sri Rao Raghunandan Rao, uh, also Professor Vijendra Kumar, Vice Chancellor of Maharashtra National University, all the participants, and especially to uh, retired judge Sitarama Rao, Sitarama uh, Sri, uh, also being a mentor of the various efforts in relation to the moot court competition uh, of this particular nature in the light of uh, this uh, entire endeavor. So, I also especially thank to Sitarama Murthy, sir, uh, being a mentor and always being support, being extending a support for moot court activities uh, of this nature. So welcome to uh, sixth National Moot Court Competition 2022 by MCA Moot Court Association of Simbas Law School, Hyderabad. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. Thank you very much, Dr. Agar. Our esteemed chief guest, Justice Rao Raghunandan Rao, served as the assistant government leader for commercial taxes and was the special assistant government leader in the office of the Advocate General of Andhra Pradesh. His lordship was previously standing counsel for various public sector corporations until being designated as the senior advocate with over 30 years of experience at the bar. We now invite Justice Rao Raghunandan Rao, presently sitting judge at the High Court of Andhra Pradesh, to deliver the keynote speech. Uh, good morning. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning to everybody, uh, Dr. Professor Dr. Vijendra Kumar, Vice Chancellor Maharashtra National Law University, Nagpur, Dr. Santosh Agav, Director Symbiosis Law School, Hyderabad, Dr. Anita Sable, convener, and uh, the members of the Moot Court Association of uh, the Symbiosis Law School, Hyderabad, management and faculty of Symbiosis International University, as well as the law school at Hyderabad, participants and uh, beneficiaries who are plugged into this uh, session. Uh, let me start with saying uh, law is a profession. Now, this uh, very simplistic sounding sentence has one implication. As with every profession, mere domain knowledge is not sufficient. You need to know where to apply, when to apply, and how to apply it. Now, that ability improves only by experience, as is in every profession. One method of introducing you to that kind of an experience is to hold these moot court uh, sessions and hold moot court competitions, which will, you know, bring in the competitive spirit, which ensures that you perform better. The moot court uh, system, personally, I mean, my personal view is, it is something akin or comparable to, let us say, dissection of cadavers by medical students, because that is the only way they're going to be allowed uh, anywhere near a human body before they have the necessary expertise to heal people. Similarly, here, moot courts help you to get that kind of an experience, albeit uh, uh, in a atmosphere which may not be a true courtroom, but uh, most of it is replicated. Now, uh, when we come to moot court competitions, 
the purpose of these competitions are to see how you apply your knowledge of law, how you go about convincing the judges about your case. These are practical issues which, uh, if I may uh, pass on a little bit of advice to all of you. For example, you take a moot court competition. In the moot court competition, if you look at it closely, you are not trying to win the case. This may sound counterintuitive, but the fact is, the purpose of the moot court competition as far as you are concerned is not to win the case. Your objective is to get the judges of the moot court competition to evaluate your ability to persuade, to present your case in such a manner that the judges are convinced that you have a good case. The judges Mind you, most of them are experienced practitioners of law who will be sitting as judges. So they are not really looking at whether you win the case or not. They are looking more at how you persuade them to your point of view. Now, the second uh, piece of advice that I would give you is not really linked to the moot courts, but to the real world. You know, the law system, the court is not... Uh, a black box where you know you type in your domain knowledge and you get the right uh, judgment. Judges are humans. It's the court systems are manned by judges. Judges are humans. As with every human being, they have their own uh, angularities. They have their own prejudices. They have their own value systems. Now, what happens here is we are governed by the discipline of law. By discipline, I don't mean uh, the subject of law. By discipline, I mean discipline it's in its usual meaning. Because this discipline, what happens is this discipline doesn't eliminate any of these tendencies. It moderates them. Now, because of that moderation, the responses of judges are generally in a narrow compass. <clears throat> However, this moderation may not work in your favor because this moderation masks the responses of the judges until the judgment is written. So you need to gain that experience to be able to gauge where the judge is going. That comes out in terms of body language. It comes out in terms of the questions the judge may ask. So when judges ask you questions, don't look on it as an uh, you know, obstacle for your case. Look on it as an opportunity for two reasons. Look on it as an opportunity for you to read the judge. Look on it as an opportunity for you to convince the judge about your case. Now, these are, uh, I mean, small pointers. I'm. Uh, making only to tell you that in the real world, I mean, which the moot court competitions are trying to equip you to face, the law is not objective. The law is very subjective. But as I said, it is subjective within a very narrow uh, area. So you need to understand that you need to go on that basis. And when you participate in these moot court uh, proceedings or moot court competitions like this, take this as a stepping ground or a training ground for you when you step into litigation, which I hope a lot of you will get into litigation rather than advisory and transactional work because we need uh, good advocates and we need uh, students from good universities and good schools of law like this to come into litigation. So with that, uh, I will end my address and uh, wish all the participants the best of luck and may the best team win. Thank you. Thank you, sir.
Thank you, sir, in firmly emphasizing the intricacies of our skills in moot courts and the importance that moot courts wield over the legal field and the omniscience of the legal profession as well and the responsibilities associated with it. It was an honor, sir. Thank you very much. Our guest of honor par excellence is a Commonwealth Fellow of the United Kingdom, a meritorious law teacher awardee from the government of Telangana, and the Vice Chancellor of the Maharashtra National Law University, Nagpur. A recipient of the Telangana State Award to meritorious teaching, he has also been and is a member of many committees of the UGC, NAAC, NIRF, Niti Aayog, UPSC, etc., and has also contributed to the holistic growth of legal education and profession. We now welcome Professor Dr. Vijendra Kumar to deliver the special address. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Suvangi. Thanks a lot. Yeah. The Honorable Sri Justice uh, Rao Ragunandan Rao Garu, the Senior Judge uh, High Court of uh, Andhra Pradesh, the Honorable Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Pune, Respected Director, Dr. <coughs> Santos Ado, Dr. Anita Samble, Avnita Josi, and other faculty colleagues, and uh, my dear students, those who are associated with the Moot Court Competition. It's your sixth edition of National Moot Court Competition. It's a matter of pride and privilege to be part of your vision on skill-based legal learning. It is very difficult to say anything after the Honorable Senior Judge of the City High Court has given and blessed with the wisdom of Pulse of Wisdom. And his advice are absolutely novel. And it is a kind of learning experience for all the participants of this uh, sixth edition of uh, National Moot Court Competition. They are the luckiest one. I welcome you all to the sixth uh, edition of this Moot Court Competition, but uh, it's my duty and it's a more of a pious rather than a professional duty, duty to share my experience with these young, the budding lawyer of the country. As the Honorable Judge has mentioned, it is a profession. And we very proudly say it's a novel profession. But profession per se, no profession is a novel pro profession. It needs very hard work from each of the members of the bar, bench, and academia to make it legal profession as a novel profession. When we talk about uh, moot court competitions, let me remind these young minds when the country was working on the second edition of reforms in legal education. The Bar Council of India thought of clinical legal education. And moot court is one of the mandate of clinical legal education. As rightly pointed by the Honorable Judge, it is difficult to compare with the medical education, but it is nonetheless not less than the medical education. A doctor who removes the pain, it is the, a lawyer who wipes the tears of the suffer sufferings in the court of law while working for justice. And not justice for the self, but justice for others, the needy, the downtrodden, the people, those who have no voice. But while working for this novel cause on a clinical legal education, which is known under this new education policy as a skill-based legal learning, we all are in the same boat, in the same way, working hard to exhibit our research, presentation, court etiquette skills in a court which is not a real court, but we presume it is a real court. So while doing a good research over a moot problem, which makes these participant or participating students to learn about their or to develop their research skills. Because the another idea of the Bar Council of India was today <clears throat> in the country or since uh, say late 90s, the chamber practice has become a notional. I'm sure the Honorable Judge uh, will remind the chamber practice. 
and the budding lawyers or the lawyers of the day they do not uh, trust and believe in chamber practice a learning which is a practical oriented learning always takes place in a chamber of a senior advocate it is not in the classroom and moot court competition is an attempt to bring the chamber learning into a classroom learning and exhibit through this moot court competitions so i appeal all these participating team members be it a motor or a researcher think about a chamber practice how it is it is supposed to be a senior lawyer who had a 30 40 50 years practice in a court knows each and everything about the court about the presiding officer of the court the honorable judge not only the merit of the case but sometime it is the heart and mind and the soul of the honorable judge if you win you will be happy to see the outcome of a case but nowadays number of law schools have come up in the country be it private domain or the public domain but the chamber practice alike learning in the classroom is not taking that much significant way and hence this moot court competition becomes a very relevant platform for these budding lawyers to exhibit your research skills your presentation skills rather public presentation skills and court etiquettes in the last two years during pandemic we all have seen how not only the young even the senior lawyers have exhibited their skills in virtual mode exceptions apart they uphold the provisions of the constitution the honorable courts the honorable judges have given their best to not to have a dent on the justice delivery system even during pandemic the virtual mode has become our new normal and the young advocates have those who are good at even the taluka level the district court level they are representing their clients in the high courts and the supreme court so the boundary the territorial boundaries of the state bar council and uh, bar council of the high courts and the supreme court have become a kind of issueless so the moot court competition is a significant learning platform for all these budding lawyers to exhibit their skills i appeal all of you work hard not for winning of a case work for giving helping hand to the needy because they directly cannot approach the honorable court and seek a justice and justice is not meant only for the parties before the court it is a kind of a preamble it is a kind of a mirror to the entire society through which the honorable judge look at the social political economic impact in the society before signing the judgment so i appeal all these participating team don't fight for winning your moot as the honorable judge sahab also said exhibit your best results will win your fair if you ask to a winner why did he win difficult to say if you ask a loser why did he lose actually he is the real winner because he could exhibit here his skills or her skills where there was a fault and he gets a chance to work hard further whereas a winning team may not do the same with these few ideas few my understanding sharing with all of you i wish you a good luck i wish you not only the winning team even runner up team and other teams best of your career not only in this moot court even legal profession we need you wishing you all the best best and i thank the organizers for inviting me to this program to be part of it and i uh, submit myself to the honorable judge sir thank you very much for sharing the virtual platform and allowing me to sit with you thanks a lot thank you very much
Thank you very much, sir, Thank for you, accentuating sir. the distinctive nature of the legal profession and the unmediated character of the same as well, as well as the significance of the Moot Court platform. We will definitely take your advice to heart on giving back to the society. Thank you very much, sir. It was a pleasure. In the words of Marcus Tullius Cicero, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. As always, this event would not have been possible without the insights and aid of our faculty convener, Dr. Anita Sable. Ma'am, we invite you to deliver the word of thanks. Thank you, Shubangi. Thank you very much. Khol de pankh mere kehta hai parinda, abhi aur uđan baaki hai. Zameen nahi hai manzil meri, abhi pura asman baaki hai. Dr. S.B. Majumdar, Chancellor of Symbiosis International Deemed University, Dr. Vidya Yevredkar, Pro-Chancellor of Symbiosis International Deemed University, Dr. Rajni R. Gupte, Vice-Chancellor of SIU and Dr. Shashikala Gurukur, Dean, Faculty of Law of SIU and Director of Symbiosis Law School, Pune. Today's Chief Guest, Honorable Justice Rao Ragunandan Rao, Sitting Judge of Andhra Pradesh High Court. Today's Guest of Honor, Professor Dr. Vijendra Kumar, Sir VC Chancellor, Maharashtra National Law University, Nagpur, Dr. Santesh, Santosh Aghav, Director, Symbiosis Law School, Hyderabad, and Deputy Director, Dr. Anuradha Binuri Ma'am, Symbiosis Law School, Hyderabad, my dear friends, dear participants, and entire MCA team members, a very good morning to all. I, Dr. Anita Sable, moot put in charge. Deems it great privilege to have been bestowed with the honor of delivering the vote of thanks in this August occasion. The sixth National Moot Court Competition 2022 was a month in the making, and we are immensely grateful to kickstart it with this distinctive ceremony. The sixth National Moot Court Competition 2022 is the essence of Symbiosis Law School Hyderabad and is a culmination of hard work of the students and the Institute as a whole. However, this event would not have been possible without the blessings in this inaugural ceremony. On behalf of the Symbiosis Law School Hyderabad family, I extend my sincere gratitude to Justice Rao, Ragunandan Rao, and Dr. Vijendra Kumar, sir, for gracing us with their presence and their wise words. This event shall follow through in the standard that you have hoped, sir. I would like to express my gratitude to the SIU management, sir, Dr. S.B. Majumdar, Madam, Dr. Vidya, Dr. Rajni, and Dr. Shashikala Gurupur, ma'am, for their ever-present support. We are deeply indebted to you. I also thank Dr. Santosh Aghav, sir, and Dr. Anuradha Binuri for their staunch support in meeting the needs of this Moot Court Competition 2022 with ever-present alacrity. This national Moot Court Competition has become a reality only with you ready guidance and the assistance. I would also like to extend my thanks to the teaching and non-teaching staff of Symbiosis Law School Hyderabad for their blustering assistance at all times. This competition will not have been possible without you, my dear participant, and your enthusiasm to make a mark in a legal spectrum. We thank and congratulate you for your dedication and vivacity. And we are sure that this mood code will be the best learning platform and opportunity to establish yourself in the amateur legal front. Last, but definitely not the least, I would like to extend my heartiest appreciation and thanks to my mood code association entire team and the volunteers from Symbiosis Law School Hyderabad who have tirelessly worked to bring this event to you. Work hard in the silence and let the success make the noise. With this, let's make this weekend the sixth national mood code competition of Symbiosis Law School Hyderabad a resounding success. Thank you and best wishes. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much, ma'am. It was Randolph Bourne who said, a good discussion increases the, the dimensions of everyone who takes part in it. We, the Moot Court Association, urge all participants to make the best use of the next few days, improving their spirit as budding lawyers. 
We look forward to make this event a grand success and as always, Excelsior. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lord Honorable, Lordship. Honorable Lordship, thank you, sir. Uh, Honorable sir, uh, respected sir, Vijinder, uh, Dr. Vijinder Kumar, sir, and all thank the you. participants. Thank you. And all the participants. Thank you so thank much, you sir. Much. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good day. Good, Good day, day, everyone. We can deal link now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we can stop the uh, live recording, uh, the live streaming in case if the time is still available or otherwise we can stop the uh, recording and uh, live streaming. Thank you so much, each one of you. All the best. Take care.